is underway. Fox 40 is a proud media sponsor of the show. Fox 40's Eric Rucker joining us live at Mather Airport to give us a better idea of what to expect over the next couple of days. Rucker. Hey, have you guys ever been exhausted like I was before the break? That exhaust just hitting you in the face <laughs> on the back. I'm sure that was like delightful. Really, really hot. Was it delightful? <laughs> it was. You can pass this along to Christina. As hot as that was, it was nothing compared to when it was like, what, 116 a few weeks ago. That was actually quite refreshing. But the sun is basically not set, but it is going down right now. So I don't have to worry about that. It's still loud. It's still fun. And you want to see something cool? How about some F-22 Raptors right behind us? I'm sure these were some of those that were out here a little bit earlier on when we were going live. We were scheduled to have an interview with a major uh, to talk about the Raptors. Uh, that apparently has not worked out. They're very regimented. They have to make sure their checks are all done before they can uh, uh, help out the media in any way, which we understand they have a very uh, big weekend uh, planned ahead. And of course, when it comes to the F-22s, well, yeah, that's one of the main planes that people want to see. And speaking of planes, got some flying over ahead right now. Those may be the growlers. I'm not quite sure. I'm, to be honest, guys, I can't look up in the sky and just tell you that's an exact plane. I could do that with sports stuff. I could do it with other things. Planes, uh, not exactly the expert on it yet. Uh, let me ask you guys. I know you're going to be out here tomorrow in our Fox 40 booth. You're going to be greeting people, shaking hands, looking up in the sky with all our fantastic viewers. Uh, is there anything, Eric and Nikki, or either of you are most looking forward to when you come out to the air show tomorrow? I'm looking at it right there. Yeah. Well, because that, that F-22 Raptor, Rucker, I know that you've talked with some people that are organizing the air show and some pilots, too. That That's that's the same plane that was used in Top, Top Gun, Gun, right? Yeah, that's so what I, I was going to say. Yeah. It looks like the backdrop of Top yeah. Gun right there. You're our maverick out there, Rucker. Yeah, these are the... The, yeah, right. <laughs> these are the uh, these are the fun ones. These are the uh, showstoppers. These these are the ones when the pilots get out of there and they walk into the bar. They got like a row of whoever's chasing after them right behind them because they're I don't know. That's what happens when you they walk into the bar, right? Raptor. That's what happens. But they're just when walking you... into the bar to have snacks, right? <laughs> just snacks. <laughs> No, it's always security just chasing, saying, hey, get out of here, get out of here. Uh, so let me, let me wrap up by saying this. Obviously, tonight tonight was a really fun night. We had a lot of, of our uh, VIPs and sponsors and people uh, who were here enjoying the show tonight. But tomorrow is when people... I got to say, our director, Tasha, get to experience. she's on it. Every time there's the flybys... She's got it ready, so our viewers can see the is that Is that code? Is that code? Is that code sign, Tasha? Yes. Is that her pilot name? No, she's awesome. We used to work together way back in the day in the morning on Fox 40 News in the morning. Um, yeah, that's basically uh, what I got for you guys out here. Well, Rucker, yeah, you, we know that you. T <laughs> obviously, we, we're talking uh, talking a lot about the Raptors because they're cool and they're cool to look at and it's part of Top Gun and everything. But you talk to a, a pilot because they, they go all the way. Those vintage planes going all the way back to World War II, and then they take you sort of through the decades all the way up into 2022 with those Raptors behind you. So people love seeing that stuff too. The old planes sometimes just as popular as some of the new stuff. Yeah, you can go watch the new uh, newer Top Gun movie and see some of the fighter jets that. You might see in that movie, I, mean, I don't know about the exact ones, but similar, right? And then you can also take a trip back in time, like you were saying, way back to the 1940s and 30s, and check on some very vintage planes. And I think that's what is so special about the California Capital Air Show, is you can go throughout the decades and really give a uh, history lesson to yourself about uh, American aviation. And that's what I think people most appreciate, is the wide variety of what they have to offer out here. All right. Eric Rucker, live for us at Mather. We'll check back in with you in a few minutes. Thanks, my friend. All right.